Hey, welcome back, guys. Um, so we're out here in Corpus Christi. We're finishing up our uh, hoarder house conversion, uh, setting it up for a midterm rental. Uh, we had another opportunity to buy another place here for a fix and flip. Uh, so we went ahead and did that. So here we are. We're going to go ahead and go through this fix and flip video and uh, show you what we do. So why don't you take a walk with me through the uh, property for the first time. We can go and look what we're... Uh, going to be dealing with. All right, let's go. So here we are, guys. This is a newer house built in 2003. Uh, brick home. Um, uh, previous owners had some marital issues, left some cats in the house, and the house Me, this looks like a light rehab. Um, so let's go take a look. Outside looks great. 2003, the the roof looks good. Looks like there's a little uh, moisture damage by the uh, around the uh, chimney as usual. Uh, but everything looks good so far. Let's take a walk through. Hopefully, we can get through this. There's no power in the house right now, guys. So. We're going to have to go through in the dark a little bit, uh, but here we are, I think we're close, sitting on close to uh, about 1,700 square feet. Uh, we got full tile through the open living areas, uh, it's a four bedroom, uh, doesn't look too bad, apparently some cats were left in here and the house was abandoned, and you can imagine what kind of odors and things were coming in from uh, that nonsense. But I'm coming in through this house right now and I can tell you that it's not too bad. It looks like we got our first bedroom here or, uh, yeah, I guess it was a study. Yeah, it was a bedroom, there is a closet. We can walk through here. Um, but I mean, overall it looks pretty good. The uh, trim and walls, it looks like they've still got pretty decent ceiling fans. Everything looks fairly clean. Uh, yeah, I mean, blinds still look like they haven't had any maintenance in a while. We, we, we can clean that up and they look good. Windows look good, nice and sealed, no moisture issues. I don't see any cracks around at all, really. Um, so this bedroom looks good. Same thing, we get a lot of the same. I mean, you got crown molding all the way around. Looks in good shape. You know, a little outdated fixture there. Uh, but trim looks good, paint looks good. Not a lot, a whole lot of uh, damage to the walls. Uh, even the chimney, I, I don't mind. The fireplace looks great. Uh, let's see here, they got a cool looking old style ceiling fan but i mean guys it looks in great shape we clean that up we don't have to touch that we're going to leave that right in place uh we have full tile throughout the throughout the throughout the house um, i'm walking through and it feels nice and solid there's only one issue in the kitchen which i'll show you in a second uh, but same thing and we got some issues there but this is going to be what I would say, guys, as a light rehab. I mean, because really what we're going to do in here is we're really going to come in here. We're going to maybe fix any tile that we have, get it cleaned out really, really good. New paint job all throughout the house. Uh, redo the flooring and redo the countertops. I think that's all we're doing. If you can look in the kitchen here, uh, the countertops are kind of outdated. It's like a laminate. Um, countertop, you know, old fixtures. We're going to just update that. We're going to paint the cabinets white. Um, this ceiling light fixture up there, we're probably go ahead and keep that too. Um, it was like I said, it doesn't look in bad shape. Everything looks pretty good. Uh, we'll probably redo the, the appliances. Um, get everything painted. See over here, guys, we had one issue here. It looks like the tile, and you guys let me know in the comments what you think about this. I'm stepping on some spongy 
tile right here. I can hear it cracking, it's loose. You can hear that, especially right here, you can see where it kind of bowed up. Um, it kind of bunched up together. Uh, I don't know if that's from a bad tile job or we maybe we have some settling um, in the foundation. But guys, I'm looking at the I'm looking at everywhere in the house. It looks great. I don't see any cracks or anything to tell me or indicate that other than the uh, kitchen tile that maybe we have any indication with the foundation. It's a slab foundation. Everything looks good. No cracks. No nothing. It looks solid. So guys, let me know in the comments, uh, what do you guys think this is going on here in the kitchen? I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe just a bad tile job and it wasn't properly adhered to the slab. And I don't know, maybe there's some weather related issue. I don't know, guys. If you know, let me know, please. Let me know what you guys think. Um, so walking over to the back of the house here, it's a single story, guys, that we're going to walk into the master suite. Um, same thing looks good. I can't say much for <laughs> their choice in paint colors. We got like a baby blue in the master bathroom, uh, in the master bedroom, sorry. Uh, looks like they ripped out the carpet already, saving me some money. Um, same thing, a little brass, uh, outdated ceiling fans, but in good condition. Probably just going to leave them there. Um, we even have some... Uh, pretty, uh, pretty hefty duty uh, curtain rods there that are not particularly my style, but I might try to work with those guys. I might try to maybe repaint them. Uh, maybe we'll add a couple curtains or something. Uh, but it's not looking too bad here. We're gonna probably just redo carpet in here, or maybe we'll end up putting some. Um, depending, we haven't made up our mind yet on what we're gonna do with the tile because, like, I'm looking at the tile now. And it looks in good shape. I think if we got in here and got somebody to really clean it out really good, it's going to look great. So here we are again. Uh, sorry for the um, no light. But can't say much about their choice in color. But everything is in great shape. I mean, the countertops even look good. I... The only, the only thing that I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to update the countertops. Like I said, we're going to spray the counter, uh, the cabinets and probably a new white or maybe some, not another trendy color. Fix the light fixture, get that updated. But guys, this is in good shape. I mean, really good shape. I mean, even the shower looks good. I don't see a lot of issues with any moisture problems. You got some dirt. It looks dirty a little bit in here, but... I'm going to clean this out, guys, and leave it as is. I think we're going to be right back up to market value with just a paint job, a little bit of flooring. Um, so you can walk in here. They took the carpet out of here, too. But nice, big uh, walk-in closet. Very clean. I said, I think this, guys, is just a new paint job. And a really good thorough cleaning. Um, we do have some demo work in the backyard. Um, and I'll show you that in a minute. But I'm going to take you back through here, guys. We have two more bedrooms. You can see through here. I know it looks kind of creepy. Because um, there's no power. But here's the laundry room. The garage door right there. Same thing here. We got a... A uh, shower um, with a clean, still looks clean. I mean, this just needs to be cleaned up. But the vinyl casing sh shower fixture there, it looks good. Same thing, we're going to redo these countertops. Paint spray, new toilet. That looks good. Looks like we have obviously have some kids that were living here before. We got the Barney Purple, love it. Uh, same thing, they've already demoed the floors for us, so it's gonna save us a little. Uh, look at that, we got clean ceiling fans. Ceilings look great. Everything looks good. So we 
I'll take you through the numbers on this one, guys, after we complete this one. I just want to take you through the, the walk-in. We chose to do, because of the numbers and our financial situation, this made sense to just go ahead and flip it, at least as our primary strategy. Um, we're in a little town north of Corpus Christi. I would call it maybe a retirement town or a little resort town. Um, and demand is it a little slower here than a bigger market than Corpus Christi. Um, usually houses are selling here. We're at between 45 to 60 days. Um, so we'll see how this goes with this light rehab. I don't think we're going to be in here more than 30 days to fix it up. Um, and if we get lucky, maybe get a conventional buyer before 90 days. And if we have to wait for an FHA buyer, that's at six months. That's usually the rule is that FHA buyers have to, can't buy any properties that have been owned less than 90 days or less than six months. Sorry. Um, so we'll see how this goes, guys. I want to take you along with me on my fix and flip. I've taking you through um, our uh, buy and hold, where we're gonna do midterm rentals and see how, how well that does. And now I'm gonna take you through with a flip with me. Let's see, oh, the lighting is terrible in here. So I can, I'm gonna take you through on a flip with me so we can see uh, how this goes together, uh, see how we do on the fix and flip. I think we're gonna do great. Um, but we'll we'll see. You're gonna go through with me, and and you'll see my problems, and you'll see what you know things that go wrong, things that go right, which we always do. Um, it seems like we're always putting out spot fires on working in real estate like this. Um, and you can also see what it's like to invest in real estate at a distance. All right, because I'm out in California, and I'm working on these properties, uh, managing these properties from. Geez, three states away, right? I'm out in Texas, Corpus Christi, Texas right now. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll go through it together and, and see how this goes for, for a fix and flip. And uh, yeah, so anyway, I'll come back and uh, once we get the rehab done and we'll come through another walkthrough and check it out and we'll go over the analysis, the numbers and, and see how everything pans out. See if this one works out or not. <laughs> so, alrighty, guys. Thanks again. Uh, please leave a, uh, a comment below. Let let me know what you think about this property. Um, if you think you would be able to uh, fix and flip this, or uh, this is a little too much, or you think that this, like me, I think this is a pretty light rehab. Um, so let me know, guys, in the comments, and let me know if uh, what you think about investing out here in Corpus Christi. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, all right. Until the next one. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, before you leave, please like and subscribe and sign the notification bell so you can catch all our latest videos coming out. Thanks again. Bye.